Revelation. Willie Propane. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dime back with another video. And today I really don't have anything to post for real, but I really want to give y'all a little backstory on my New Year's. But happy New Year's to everyone out there in the world. Because I had a bad day, don't mean everybody had a bad New Year's incoming, ongoing. But I'm just going to tell y'all about, don't mind me, the toothpaste on my shirt because I brush my teeth. But see what happened was, toothpaste can get dangerous in the family spirit. Um, I'm not coming on camera looking too cute because I'm not even going to lie to you. Like I said, I had a long, rough New Year's Eve and New Year. Today is New Year. This video will be out today. So, I don't have really no content to post today because I've only been blogging my original plan. I had a list of things to post. So, everything that y'all been seeing post is what I already have in my notes that's been lined up. So, the bad part about it is... Just so happily, one out of all those videos had to be the day that I really had a big surprise and plans and all that all that stuff for you guys. Went and left. Like, I'm just going to take y'all back from when New Year's Eve started. So, I woke up on New Year's Eve and did it, take, it took part before I think New Year's Eve. Yeah, it took part before New Year's Eve. So, the day before New Year's Eve, I got a message that really, really triggered me and really made me upset. And it just ticked me to the most utmost pro problem. Like, I hate stuff happening to me. Like, especially if I know I'm a sweetheart. It's just... So, that carried over to the next morning, which took, played a part all night. Because, you know, when stuff happens, you just don't go to sleep. And your mind racing now you ready to do stuff that I don't regret regret anything I do if I do it it's for a reason I don't just up and just do stuff because I think it's okay no I have a reason for every action is there is a, for every action for every action is a reaction every action is a reaction so if I did something it was because something happened but um that specific day that happened that morning i woke up and it was like that what happened that night before I still triggered over to the next day which is new year's eve so i was very highly upset so then that just put the ice on the cake then my mama got my mama called me and we got into it for what i don't know at this point so i thought it was a me problem i really started to be convinced it's a me problem because why am i into it with everybody because What's not clicking? Like, I ain't saying nothing to nobody. Is that the problem? Because I ain't saying nothing to nobody. I'm like, I'm starting to think it's a me problem. Because you know, when so much stuff happens to you, you start, well, so much happens to a person, you think it's like a, it's a them problem. Like, um, oh yeah, you get into it with that person, that person, that person. It's a you problem. It's not them. So I start making myself feel like it was a me problem. So then I start closing myself out. And then everybody got to swing it back around telling me to apologize because it was their fault. They acting like this. I'm like, well, y'all had me feeling like, that it was my fault because I'm into it with everybody. It's not just one person. I'm into it with everybody. But I don't know what it is. Like, people bringing up my past. Bringing up pe people bringing up stuff that got like, my past, my past. This is going to be in a whole new year. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you drilling on? Like, what are you, what are you trying to prove? Then people throwing back what I said it in my face. Like, it's just, it was just a, a table turning moment. Like, I thought it was just a me problem because I'm like, okay, I said it, but I don't regret what I said. Like I said, whatever happens, happens for a reason. Every action is for a reaction. So I was given that. I, I wasn't giving it quick, but I was given that. I'm like, so if I don't talk to you, I'm giving that reaction. I'm giving you a reaction to what your actions was just, your actions just did. So I'm quiet and my business. So everybody got to calling me back. Like, hours after we, I done got into it with everybody, New Year's morning, New Year's Eve morning, I'm getting into it with everybody. Like, it's like a, so then at that point, like, then my cousin called me. She had re-pierced her nose. I pierced her nose. 
and her jewelry she kept letting fall out but she never was the one to take care of her jewelry so uh when she said it finally fell out i was actually kind of happy that it finally came out because i did it like a year and a half ago why do you still have that same piercing but so then she was like okay can you pierce it back and the mix of me piercing the back, when I did her nose last time, she was the only one that bled. When I did all the other piercings, she was the only one that bled so bad. So bad. So then I was like, I was doing it this time, and I started doing that again. But something just told me to uh, look inside her nose. I looked inside her nose. She had a small keloid coming on. So I told her, I said, don't just let it close and re-pierce re re it. Because the only reason I know it was a keloid because... When after it fell out, she kept putting stuff in. And, you know, without sanitizing stuff. But I wouldn't expect somebody that's young to understand that part. Because that's why I was like, I was explaining these things. But, you know, kids don't listen. But, um, so I was explaining this to her. And she wasn't comprehending. She was like, but I don't care about that. Well, can you pierce my other side of my nose? I'm like, girl, let your other side of your nose heal. Because I don't know how your reaction may be. Because... People react different to certain things because she was the only one that bled the most for so long. So I was worried last time because I'm like, yeah, blue blood don't scare me nothing like that. But it's a different thing when I not did your nose and it's still bleeding like down the line. Like I did everybody else's. I was I'm let me put this in I disclaimer. I do not suggest nobody to do this at home, and I am not recommending it, none of that, and I am not a professional, so don't get on here talking about that, nothing like that, but I did take care of it, because I did learn, I did all my piercings, so I know the precautions, and besides, I always go get a lot of piercings, I, I watch people get piercings, and I always go to the uh, place, I got my piercings done, but when they did my piercings incorrect, I went back and did them myself, because if it's like, and not in the spot I wanted to, or is that, it's slanted too much like this, and not like, like it's supposed to be like this, I know something's wrong. So I just always re pierce my piercings, period. And I pay attention to what they do. If you want to do stuff at your house, you have to pay attention. She took it upon herself to reopen her own nose. That's why I told her at least give it a week so she can, it can, you know, when it, if you take care of your keloids, if the little bump on your nose, the little bump on your nose, what's that first is right here. If you take care of it, it eventually, uh, scab up and fall off and stuff like that everybody know that like it was like eventually finna be a kilo like a real kilo but it was like the small little nose bump thingy y'all know what i'm talking about but it was under her nose so i was like uh-uh i'm not gonna repair really so i'm gonna give it a week so it can heal and all that possibly stuff because it's got a lot of bacteria in there because i know what you're doing because i just know as kids i know what people do because they don't pay attention to stuff so she called me talking about look what i did with the earrings in her nose oh it's paper on my hand with, with the earring in her nose, I'm like, all right, because that's why I'm irritated. Because, like, why are you doing this if you just just hard hit it, just hard hit, make a soft one? And but yeah, I said, okay, hung up, get back on the phone. I'm gonna argue again. I'm not gonna argue, I'm not gonna do that. I'm already arguing with enough people around me. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm doing it. I'm arguing with my boyfriend, I'm arguing with everybody, like, I'm arguing, and when I'm arguing, I'm arguing hard. It was the point where I'm finna cuss out my other cousin because I'm just so sick of everybody's BS. But I'm like, calm down because it's probably a me problem and I'm going to go be on my own problem. Okay, you feel me? So, that day come, we're supposed to be going New Year's. Even though all that stuff happened in the morning, I know in the afternoon we're supposed to have parties to go to for the New Year's. We had about three or four to go to. Listen to what I said. Three or four to go to. We got invited to go. We went to one place. Out of those four, there for a few few minutes or whatever, and everything was just not right. Just it was just not right. So then I tried to do a video, a prank. That prank didn't come all right. The prank didn't give me what it's supposed to get. It's like a, a downfall. Like it was just that New Year's Eve day was not getting what it's supposed to get. So then it's time for us to go to the next party. Didn't go. We get invited to another party. So now that makes it added to five we're supposed to be at. And so then I turned around and we didn't go to that party. We didn't go to the next party. We didn't go to the next party. So then my mama asked me, she well, she called and apologized and all that extra stuff. She invited me to come and take a couple of drinks and shots and stuff like that and whatever. And whatever. Cool, cool, cool. 
So I'm like, I have one last hope in these last two places to go. No, three. I had last hope in these last two places was to go to my granny house, my mama house, and my cousin house. Everybody agreed on my cousin house. Didn't hear nothing for these two. So I'm getting ready because I'm like, okay, well, I'm going pregame because these two places is down the street from each other. Like, eight houses. It's not far. It's two blocks down. Like, it's not, it's not far. It's not far at all. So it's like, I could pregame here and go here. Like, it bounce, it bounce off. That's not what it was giving. It was giving, like, oh, I'm not, this just, I don't feel like it. Move vibes was going around. So I'm getting, starting to get irritated. So I'm just, I'm just like, I'm getting dressed. I'm up in the bathroom getting dressed to go to one of these parties. Somebody party, one body party, somebody. It's not happening. It's like, Everything is like a snail. Everything is like a snail. So, I just take everything off and I go lay down and go to sleep. Put my body down and I go to sleep. Not dealing. I'm not. 1 o'clock, 122. I wake up. We got to jump on the floor because it's this close to the window. This close. And you know, when people let off. They don't know how to aim because they just feel like it's a new year. We should let it off and we do, we do and people aim and suck. Like, y'all got a tool but don't know how to use it. I'm going to need for you to go to the range before you call, call this a range because I'm going to need you to do this. But they all say what goes up is what comes down. But, baby, if you sitting this close to my window, I'm going to need for you to learn how to aim because that don't make no sense. So then you letting off that many, you know. So I'm now at this point, I'm like, why are you still shooting at 122? It is new. You posted it at twelve. It is one twenty-two. I'm, your times is messed up. Your times is messed up. Very much messed up. You posted it at twelve. It's one twenty-two. What are you doing? So now I'm up. Now I'm up. Up like a, a cheeseburger. Up like I'm just up. Like I don't know what I was comparing that to. Cause I don't know what that is. But don't mind that. But um, I'm just up now. So now I'm scrolling down on Facebook and whatever. And I look around, everybody on Facebook talk about somebody got shot in the head, somebody else got shot in the knee, somebody got shot in the leg, somebody got shot in the arm, somebody this and that third. I'm like, people take stuff in our city for granted. Like, y'all just can't do right. Parties, can't, you can't go to parties here because that's why I said the parties I was going to was family members. Family members, because I know you can't go to no friend party. You can't go, if y'all friends, y'all can't go. And it's only certain people, family houses you can go to before they bring, because they don't care, because they don't they like to, to see drama. They don't care about that. They just go watch it. Certain people houses you can't go to when family like, I was going somewhere where I knew I was going to be safe. It's just, New Year's is not a new year right now. So at this point, my new tradition is, I'm not talking to nobody else. If I say something to you, and you act like you can't hear me, Act like you don't see me doing what I do. I need you to look at your ear. Since your ear couldn't hear, I need you to look at your ear. I need you to not see me do what I do. That's how I want to live my 2022. Because I'm going to be 20 this month. This month is my month. This birthday month, y'all. So I refuse. This birthday month, I'm acting out from today on out to the last day of this month. Because that's my birthday. Well, it's not really the last day. Two days before the last day, the 29th. So I got 29 days. Nope. That whole, this whole month for me to act out. I'm not arguing. If you can't hear what I'm telling you, if I tell you once, change the subject. If I tell you once, move around. If I tell you once, leave me alone. If I tell you once, okay. If I say okay, period. Conversation dead. All that extra stuff, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to waste my breath like I did last year. Because the year before last, I was doing things like this. You said something to me, I'm cussing you out, and we finna fight. But I'm giving you both. I changed it around this last year, and I turned around and give people the benefit of the doubt. Everybody, I'm saying, okay, whatever. I'm being calm, cordial, and whatever. People kept walking over me like I just didn't say this. Like, I didn't mean nothing. I was, if I was a, 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 a pillow pet, like, I was just not talking. This year... I'm going to tell you once, if you can't hear, I'm going to need for you not to see what's about to happen. Period. I need you to look at your ear, that same ear that was not listening. I'm going to need for you to connect them both. And that's what you, you look at your eye, your ear, hear your eye. That's all I need. And you can't even hear. 
the eyes. You better make it work because I guarantee it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to give y'all content. This is probably the, ver the first and last video I'm going to make unhappy because <sighs> it's not clicking. It's not clicking. It's, it's not clicking, everybody. So try something new this year. They say new year, new you, new me, whatever they want to say. I don't care about none of that. I'm trying something new. Call it what you want. I'm trying something new. I've been giving y'all videos. Just like my videos. Watch them to the end. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, aunties, and uncles about them. And give me more ideas. And I'm out. See ya. Willie Propane.